hi today we are going to learn how to make a sash okay for that you need a chart paper of any color i am using a green color if you have if you are able to buy a green color get a green color chart if not any color available it's fine okay and then a four size papers for the letters okay so today we will learn how to make a sash using paper how to make a sash with the paper use of a paper now for that i'm taking a you need scale scissor and glue to make that now make taking a 5 inch mark with the iron scale you will be having 5 inch in the scale i'm taking a 5 inch mark here if you don't have an iron scale if you are having a ruler scale which shows centimeters then you have to take at least 12 centimeters with that if you are taking in measurement in the centimeters you have to take 12 centimeters if you are taking in inches it is to be 5 inches okay and 12 or as 12.5 centimeters is almost equal to 5 inches 12.5 centimeters is equal to 5 inches almost equal to 5 inches so i'm making it now i'm going to join this marks join it this we have use of this green chart we are going to make sash which goes around our shoulder using that white paper Now I have taken a line with five centimeters width. Now the same way you have to take one more. Okay, repeat this process again. Repeat this process again. You have to take one more here and make a line. Okay, so that you will get two strips of five cent inches wide. Okay. I will cut it and I will show you. If you have a scale, if you are having a scissor, you can use a scissor. If not, if you are having a cutter, use a cutter. Whatever you feel comfortable with, use it. Okay. I am using a cutter for cutting. with whatever comfort if you are comfortable with cutter you cut it with cutter if you are unable to handle cutter you cut it with your scissor okay i'm comfortable with my cutter so i'm using a cutter to cut it and i'm using a scale again to make a straight cut okay i'm not doing it free hand use a scale while if you are using a cutter always use a scale to cut it
I just made a mark of the cut. I did not cut completely. Now I'm gonna cut it completely. You can fold that line and even cut you can cut like this. Yes. Now after that we'll get a strip of a paper like this. Okay. We'll get a strip of a paper like this. Now you need to have one more strip of this. Now you need to have one more strip of this. After that, what you have to do after taking that strip both together, you have to stick it. Okay, you have to stick that papers together at least half an inch. I am making a mark here. At least stick an half an inch of your paper. Stick half an inch of your paper. Stick it like this, and the both edges. This edge you have to stick it. This edge. And even the second one also, you have to stick the second edge so it makes a circle. Okay, it makes like a circle that it becomes a band, a big band. I will show you. Okay, I have already made one. I will show you that. Now, see here, I have already sticked it. Can you see it? Sticked both the sides have sticked both the sides of that rectangle paper strip with 5 inches width yeah so you will be having a band a big band it looks like a sash okay now let after sticking it let it dry let the glue dry put it aside now check in a4 size paper for letters the same way the same measurement of the band 5 inch I'm making a mark of a 5 inch if you are using scale I've already told you so whatever the measurement you have taken for the band the same measurement you have to take over here for the letters the same measurement 5 inches of the paper Five inches. Now I'm making a line here. Five inches. See here. I've made a five inches of width, the same measurement of the band. Now inside this five inches, I'm gonna make some more few lines. Okay. Inside this five inches. Before that, let us cut this paper off. Let us cut this extra space. You, you, you want to use scissor you use scissor okay whatever you're comfortable with cutting use that see I've gotten white strip of same width of 5 inches the same as the back you can see these and this both are of same width okay so this chart the white paper will be using for letters i will show you how to compose letters in this and how to color it now put your scale here and leave one inch of space both the sides you can see one inch of space both the sides put mark okay here both the sides one inch like this again one inch like this so now make a line Now you got the line here. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I did not make the lines dark. If you want to make it darker, if you have any confusion, light lines, make it darker. Now I've got here, and the this space between it will be three inches. You can measure it. It will be three inch. So you have to 
compose your letter only in this space you must not exceed the letters lines x out of this paper okay this will be the breathing space of the slash of the band it will be the breathing space here means the empty space and only the letters will be here in the center okay i'm going to compose it and i'll show you now again what you do take your scale put three mark three inches from top to like this three inches everywhere three inches now you will be having a square of you will be having a square of 3 by 3 okay so only in this box you have to compose your letter i'm going to show you for example not getting it correct make it proper like this no problem these are pencil lines you can erase it until you get a proper shape D I'm just making it rough lines after I get a proper letter I'll make it darker These are just rough lines. I'll make it darker with color, direct color. Okay, just a guideline to make a letter. Okay, this is not the finished letter form. These are just guidelines. Okay. So later on, I will make the perfect finish of the letter with the color. TPS the same way use more A4 size papers for letters if you are unable to fill all the letters in one place takes more letter take more A4 size paper if you are able to do only two letters in one paper that's fine okay don't forcefully fit the letters okay give nice space between them or else you can even do this also after one letter you can leave some space here like this and you can start the next letter okay it will be more clear for you for example see so i have started letter so if i give a breathing space here i can compose here after this again from this line i will take one more three inch i'll show you in the next letter again i'm taking an empty paper taking five inch Five inch line again I'm going to leave one inch on the both the sides Now again I'm going to mark 3 inch from the top. Mm. 
Now after that I'm gonna leave some space here like this randomly some space half inch or a little less than half inch now I'm gonna mark again from here another three inch Again, I'm going to leave some space here. Again, from this line, I'm going to mark another 3 inch. So, if you leave like this, in one paper, in one A4 size paper, you will be having 3 letters. In one A4 size papers, even if you leave space between this, you will be getting three letters in one A4 size. Okay. In that, again, you can compose your letter in this space. Like, these are the rough letters. I'm going to make it proper with the color Um, okay, I'm um, the same way. I'll compose all the letters. If you don't, after composing all the letters, you can color it. I'll show you the coloring part also. Okay. Yes. Or else you can even make like this letters. Okay. I have taken three inches of that 3 inches 3 inches even the same way I have made 3 inches here also and this is also from the top it is 3 inches 3 inches like this so I will get a 3 by 3 inches of square here so in a one paper only you can fit all the letters after making this 3 by 3 inches of square you can compose your letters like this so I have composed here all the letters DPS DPS Miyapur okay now I'm gonna cut this letter single you no need to color anything in this now so we had a color chart in that bar color chart we will paste white letters in that color chart okay in that band what we have made in the sash what we have made before in that we will cut this white letters and we'll stick it okay if you're not able to draw letters like this you take print out okay so you in the notepad or in the word compose the letters 3 by 3 inch and take print out of those letters and cut those letters okay after cutting the letters you stick it to that sash what we have made it okay I'll show you the finished product after cutting the letters now your letters and your Ash, your sash is ready we have to stick it so before you stick this to your letters wear it and see the position of your letters from where you're gonna start I have made I wear it and made a mark here okay I made a light mark so I'll start sticking the letters from here okay after sticking it again I will show you the end sash how it is done After making the sash and cutting the uh, letters DPS Miyapur and we have to do one more thing just take a scale and same equal 5 centimeters uh, sorry 5 inches uh, chart paper you can see it clearly 5 inches just that same paper take it like this and keep your scale iron scale or whatever scale you have keep it in one corner 
and exactly take 12 inches mark and make a mark here straight line then by using the scale make the line diagonally like this properly I am using here sketch pen you can use your pencil after finishing that please don't use any cutters it will be harmful use your scissor you can fold it like this or otherwise you can directly cut it whichever way is comfortable for you you can do in that way no problem now I am showing with scissor so like this cut it properly and make sure that your edges should be little sharp like this you can cut you can cut it like this now you got this shape and one more also you have I think only one is enough so now I will show you the shas we already prepared you can see it DPS Mayapu right so before wearing this you keep a mark on here exactly at the shoulder once wear it and check whether it's coming properly on the shoulder or not and make a mark here and just fold it like this and at the end of the letter R Niyapur letter R you just make a fold like this and use some fevicol or glue just apply it lightly Take on it just press it little bit Now your shaz is ready to wear. Thank you.